Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of LS Web Apps and in today's video we're going to continue on from the last one where we looked at the Get Super Global. Okay, so in today's video we're going to be inspecting the post variable. So I'll just print out post by default and then we shouldn't expect anything to be in that array. Okay, but if you notice that when I in the last video I said that when you don't specify an, a method for a form, it defaults to the get. But now we will want to uh, specify that it um, uses the post method we have to set that in here so let's go back in our browser refresh and um, let's enter some values in here so in this case let's say line let's say sunny and when i submit this now that post super global should have some values in it so let's remove this url let's go to um, the regular url and um, i'll just put lamin and sunny in here submit the form as you can see now the post variable um super global has those values in there key value key and value okay so that's how you inspect and use the post um, super global but just one thing i want to bring to your attention is there is some other super global called request okay and it's spelled like request and basically request stores whatever is in either the post or get verb so just be aware of that either the get or post verb okay so when i refresh this now and the form it has been submitted we should have um the request also having those values but even if we came in through this url um by specifying query parameters either the, even if the form um post is not populated that value will be stored in the request as well so when i press enter um the request will have um, those values in the query string but as you can see the post um, global is empty so the request what it does it it combines um, whatever is in the post and the get super global and just um, gives you those um, values together as one so just to indicate that that's what's happening let's just submit this form but in the url we'll also have the param tree there so if you notice this form has um, some two um, values with the keys name and name one so in the URL, we also have param tree. So we should see all of those in the request. So next, let me just um, change the action of this post so that we are going to enter that um, the index, not just without a query param, but with a query param. So index.php and we'll have some param equal to three. Okay, that's just so that we have some prompts because if we don't set it, then it's going to um, submit to the index.php with our query prompts. Okay, so let's refresh this. Um, as you can see, let me just remove this. So now, as you can see, the request is empty, but let's submit it. And as you can see, it has some param and it has name as Lamin and it has name one as Sunny. Okay, so that's it, guys, for this video. I will see you soon in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.